Hello everybody. Imagine this, a room filled with broken dreams, silenced aspirations, and potential untapped. My name is Win Hong, and today I will be talking about why people fail to have great careers. Many of you may find yourself at a fork in the road where you have to choose between passion and practicality. Whether you are a student, a graduate, or a professional, Many people can relate to having to choose between following their heart's desires or giving in to societal norms and pressures. I remember when I first graduated high school, I had to choose between pursuing my passions and pursuing something practical. Now, the three factors as to why people fail to have great careers are the fear of commitment, external influences, and the resistance to adaptation and growth. Now, if you're familiar with the TED Talk, why You Will Fail to Have a Great Career by Larry Smith. He mainly goes into why people make the career decisions that they do and end up regretting not following their passions. I will be taking this informative speech in a slightly different direction in that yes, there are people who regret not following their passions, but there are also people who found relief in not following their passions in the first place, which is found in the case of my sister, whom I'll talk about later in the speech. So moving on to my first point, which is Fear of commitment. Many people are frozen when choosing their career paths. Paralysis in analysis. Factors such as overthinking and the fear of commitment play a huge role when we make our career decisions. And this is exemplified well in the article titled Development and Evaluation of a Measure of Fear of Commitment. In this article, Deborah Serling and Nancy Betts conduct a study measuring the fear of commitment and how it affected a student's career decisiveness or indecisiveness. They found in the study that fear of commitment was positively related to anxiety, negatively related to self-esteem, and higher in undecided than decided students, basically saying that fear of commitment was high in students that had yet to choose their career path. Surprising, right? Occasionally, venturing beyond what is familiar is essential for us to pursue our dreams. However, apprehension for commitment often deters individuals away from making the necessary risks. So consequently, the reluctance to take a chance translates into a hesitancy to take risks. And this is a recurring pattern evident in risk averse behaviors. But the fear of commitment is not the only factor in why we fail to have a great career. Another huge factor is external influence. A huge driving force in how we make career decisions lies in the powerful influence of family expectations and needs. As noted in the article, Beyond the Self, External Influences in the Career Development Process by Brian Duffy and Brian Dick, family plays a pivotal role in shaping a person's career path. In the article, Duffy and Dick state that the most significant category of external factors affecting most individuals' career development entails the expectations and needs of family. I have an anecdote from an interview with my sister that highlights how family dynamics can steer an individual's aspirations into a different path. In this interview, my sister revealed to me that her decision to pursue pharmacy over her decision to become a teacher was heavily influenced by our mom as well as what she calls grandpa's influence. Basically, our family talked her out of becoming a teacher to becoming a pharmacist instead. She now does acknowledge that she gets to enjoy financial stability as well as job security in her profession as a pharmacist. And now with fear and commitment and external influences out of the way, I'll be moving on to what I call the resistance to adaptation and growth. Much of our resistance to adaptation and growth is due to a fixed mindset. Well, what is a fixed mindset? Well, in the article, Growth Mindset versus Fixed Mindset, Catherine Coates states that a person with a growth mindset views intelligence, abilities, and talents as learnable and capable of improvement through effort. While someone with a fixed mindset views those same traits as inherently stable and unchangeable over time. 
Belief in innate talent or limitations rather than potential growth restricts a person's willingness to develop new skills or pursue challenging opportunities. Since a person does not have the capacity to grow, they will view challenging opportunities as threats to their competence rather than opportunities for growth. This aversion to challenges limits individuals' ability to adapt to their careers. In a LinkedIn article, The Fear of Failure, A Dual-Edged Sword in Career Growth, it is stated that constantly living in the fear of failure can erode an individual's self-confidence. It was saying that the fear of failure reinforces the notion that abilities are fixed and cannot be improved, which stifle growth and hinder career development. Now, after reflecting on these three factors, it becomes evident that in order to have personal and professional growth, you must overcome these obstacles, and they are the fear of commitment, external influences, and the resistance to adaptation and growth. In order to break free from our limitations, we must embrace a mindset of continuous learning. Whether we stray from our goals due to external influences or with the fear of failure looming over us, once we are able to do these things, we can propel ourselves into a future where anything is possible. Thank you for listening. Oh